The times, they are a-changing. What I have here are my last two open frame dial lasers. Now, at one point in the shop, I had six of these things. Now, my laser journey started roughly a year ago. I got my first open frame laser cutter, and I got the X-Tool D1 Pro 10 watt laser. And at the time, I had absolutely zero laser experience. Now, what I quickly learned from that laser cutter is it can do amazing things, it also is definitely not ready to go right out of the box. So what happened is I got that laser cutter, I made my first cut, it was almost like magic, but at the same time, there was smoke everywhere because I didn't have an enclosure. I saw all this advertisement where they would have these open frames just in rooms and someone would, you know, kind of be wearing goggles and just, I don't know, just cutting away like it was no big deal. Well, that is definitely not the case with these open frames. So what I ended up having to do was I took a 3D printer enclosure I had and I kind of made it into a laser cutter enclosure. Now this worked all right at first. Uh, I had kind of trouble moving the air. So I then upgraded to building uh, just a, basically a huge enclosure. I could fit three of these open frame lasers and that was kind of my setup. So that enclosure setup I finally settled on did work pretty well. I had it all nicely lit. I had uh, the exhaust system working pretty well, but man, it was very time consuming. It got quite expensive adding all that stuff up, uh, not even counting the, the build time it, it took me to, to make. But really at that time, there wasn't really any options. You had, basically you had the open frames and then you had the huge CO2 lasers like Ohmtech, or you had, um, Glow, well Glowforge has been a player for a long time, but you had kind of more of those I would say uh, desktop type style lasers, CO2 two lasers, but you were in you know thousands and thousands of dollars for that setup. So the appeal of these open frames where you're looking usually at $500 on up depending on the wattage or the quality, uh, it, it was appealing. But what I quickly learned with these open frames is once you add up the cost of the actual machine, and then the enclosure, now it did help that I built a bigger enclosure for multiple machines, so I'm not adding enclosure and enclosure, but all of a sudden that price was starting to get a little higher for really what you got. And one of the biggest concerns I had was eye safety. Now, I feel like these are da very dangerous for the eyes. Obviously they recommend always wearing goggles. I don't know how dangerous they are for you. I don't want to kind of risk it with your eyes. Why mess around? But you always need to wear your goggles. And even in the enclosure, I'd have little gaps. And so I wouldn't be wearing my goggles. It'd be running. And every once in a while, I kind of glance over. I feel like I got like little glimpses of like that beam. And it really kind of freaked me out actually. So I was wearing goggles even when it was fully enclosed, out of sight, just going. I kind of made a habit for that, which which is fine, but it was just something I, I really needed to keep up on. Now really in this past year, or these last couple of years, these open frame style lasers just kind of exploded. There's a million companies that do it. Here I have an Atom stack and Creality. Now Creality was big in 3D printers. I have 3D printers by the same brand. And I've had a couple of Creality op open frame uh, lasers as well. And what else? I have a few X tools and I had a MechPow, which I don't know, that was kind of one off. Uh, the Mac Power setup, but they're all for the most part kind of the same. They vary in prices. The quality different definitely can vary. This is a cheaper Creality right here, and it's just a frame and everything. This Atom Stacks definitely seems to be better quality. That X Tool was really good quality as well for the open frame c compared to some of the more budget models like the Mac Power. And so you definitely kind of you do get what what you pay for even with these open frames. Now I would say about 90% of all these open frame machines are very similar to each other. There can be a few little differences like Exel always had that laser beam that shined down, which to me was huge. It uh, allowed you to really line up your, your work piece with what you're gonna cut. I know Creality came out with, they had the integrated air assist, so when you're in the software, you could control it really easily with, uh, you didn't have to manually turn the air on and off to, between cutting and engraving. So some of those nice little features like, like that. But uh, for the most part, the biggest difference for me was the software. So really there's one main software player in the industry, which is Lightburn. Now Lightburn works with all these machines, but this is probably the biggest frustration I've had with all these open phrase laser, laser cutters is syncing it up with Lightburn and getting to them to work properly. Now I'm definitely no laser expert, no Lightburn expert, 
and it was often hard to tell if it was actually the machine that was getting screwed up or the software that was screwed up, were a lot of connectivity issues. And part of that could be when you have so many different machines and you're switching between you know, what machine you're trying to control each time. Uh, that, that could definitely be an issue compared to just if you have one machine. So this is my experience. If you have one machine with light burn and you get set up, you might never have an issue. So I, I can't say for certain there, but that's why more and more I started leaning towards just using the X tool because X tool can use light burn, but they also have their own software. Now, because the XTool did have their own software, I never had any issues connecting the machine. And now, most of the machines, what are they going to do? They're going to engrave, they're going to cut, you're going to get different qualities, the higher wattage, you're going to be able to cut faster, cleaner, and, and all that. But if you can't control the machines with confidence, and that's what I was having issues with a lot of these, it, uh, it really, it's really hard process to do when you want to make a cut, you want to engrave something, it might be something kind of expensive that you're working on that you really can't screw up. And you need to have that confidence like I, that's going to engrave exactly where I want it to or cut exactly where I want it to. Now through this journey, through the trial and error, I kind of use some of these other, other name open frames less and less and I did rely on those X tools more and more basically because of the software. I mean, they, the cut quality and the engraving was, I thought, comparable definitely to all the other machines. I mean, they, they did very similar things, but the ease of use of that software is what really pushed me over the edge as far as just kind of sticking with that. Now, with all that being said, there has been more of a recent shift in the industry, I would say in the last six months, where you're starting to see some more options. Now, for the longest time where you really had two choices with the CO2 desktop, and these open frames, some companies have finally come out and they have released fully enclosed diode machines that for me kind of perfectly have bridged the gap between these open frames and then the bigger CO2 lasers. Now some of the brands have tried to do that with the open frame, just kind of making enclosures that go around them, not having to build them but it's really hard to beat a fully integrated machine. Now, one of these machines I don't have in my shop is we create, I know I've seen some videos and they kind of have a, kind of a cool setup, but the one I do have in my shop is the XTool S1. Now, in my mind, the XTool brand has kind of led the charge in some of these uh, new features, their P2 CO2 laser I have. Uh, it's got amazing features that other machines haven't had, so they're kind of pushing the industry. I want to say, so I, my XTool S1 definitely was a game changer in my mind as far as being finally able to get away from these open frames. Now let's jump over that XTool S1 and take a closer look at it. And I think you'll kind of get an idea why I don't even use these open frames anymore. I just have a couple left, but really when they have that option now, I just, even when I see comments on my channel about what machine I should buy, I just can't recommend the open frames anymore because now with, with some of these fully enclosed machines, the cost of this open frame when you build that enclosure and everything, it's really not getting any, it, I mean, it's still less, but it's, it's getting close to what you can just purchase all in one unit. So let's hop on over to the S1 and we'll take a look. All right, so this is not gonna be a full review on this XTool S1 by any means. I've done a video on that. Uh, other people have done many videos on that, but, I guess the point of this video for me is trying to show the, what the open frames used to be and they had their time and place and basically how the market has shifted and how it's really hard to beat a fully enclosed machine like this. So what I do by building that enclosure for those open frame machines comes right out of the box, all ready to go. You have your fume extraction, you have your air assist that is, in, it's a separate box but it's integrated where it can be controlled uh, through the software you have what probably is the most important thing, you have your eye protection built in. So you have that, you have a nice big work surface and you can get the conveyor system, I do have that, so basically unlimited work surface, I mean you can keep it going with that conveyor system. But a uh, great feature, you can do the 20, I think they have the 20 watt, they have the 40 watt, and then I think the two watt infrared laser for doing metal. I have the riser base, the rotary. So really it's, it's a great machine and the, the best thing about it really is you get in the box, you open it up and you're ready to cut. Now that really can't be said for those open frame machines, no matter what the advertisement tells you, trust me, 
you you can't just set them out and cut and maybe if you're outside you'd be all right but uh in the practical world where you're probably in a shop or in closed space you're not going to want to do that and with all that being said i am excited to announce that xtool is actually offering a trade-in program for their open frame machines now this trade-in program i think you're going to be able to get up to 500 dollars credit towards an enclosed machine like this uh, it's a limited time i will provide the link down in that description so you can get all the details but it's uh, it's really a great time to if you if you're looking for a closed machine and you do have that open frame if you kind of want to make that jump, X Tool is making it uh, really easy to do so. So yes, I provide that link and check that out. Now, if you have any questions on this video, please leave them in that comment section below. And as always, I'm Chad from Chad DIY, and we'll see you on the next one.